In this video, we're going to look at including images into our project using the sprite node. So the sprite node is the second node that we're going to use after the 2D node. So what I've gone ahead of time and done is download a couple of backgrounds. I've got a BG and a BG castle. You can download these from the Google Classroom. So we need to get these into our folder. So the first thing that we need to do is kind of organize ourselves a little bit better. So if I just come away and come into Godot, we're going to need to create a folder inside of here. So we can right click and we say new folder. Now the reason we're creating a folder is because when we're using images, games tend to have lots and lots of images. So if we put them into a folder, it just makes it a little bit easier to see. So what I'm going to call this folder is images and press OK. So you now see that the images folder is there. Now if I come back to my folder menu and I go into my documents and then head on over to my 2D platformer, what you're gonna see is that folder is now created. Although I created it here, it's now included in this area and you'll see that it's currently empty. So let's just go back to my downloads folder where I've got these two images. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the images folder and double click into it. Now, because it's empty, it's not going in, but let's just drag our images into that folder so they're included in the project. So I'm just going to select both images and drag them over and then let go. So now that's done, I should be able to double click on it and you see that both of those images are in. Now if we go back to our documents and our 2D platformer and click on our images, you'll notice that they're all in. They've also created an asset container as well, which makes it really handy. Now this is one of the reasons we create a folder because as we create more images or more nodes, it will kind of do lots of different images and it keeps it all in one place. So now we know we got it in the, in the right place, now we're happy, let's create our node. So the first thing I do to make sure that a node goes in the correct position in this node tree, I just select the node that I want the next node to go beneath. So select the node main menu and then press the plus icon. Now in Godot the easiest way to find a node, because there's hundreds of these things, the easiest way to find a node is to search it. And once you've used a node several times, you'll notice that they start popping up in your recent icons, which makes it a lot easier to select. But let's just imagine you've never used this particular node, and I'm just going to type in the word sprite. There we go. And it's this one here. So we don't want the sprite 3D. The one that just says sprite is the 2D version, okay? So we're just going to double click on this, and you'll notice it goes into here. We do need to rename our sprite. So you've got two ways of doing this. Let me show you two ways. So we right click and go down to rename, which we've done in the past, or you just double click and we're going to call it background. Okay, so now we've called it background and we've clicked away and it's, it's taken that name. We're just going to reselect it and we're going to add a texture to it. So currently it says empty. So the background that I want to use is this one here. So because we've got this background selected, you'll notice that I can just drag it onto here. So if I click and hold and then drag this image, and I want to put it in the texture slot. So make sure before you let go of, of the texture, just make sure you're hovering over the one that says texture, not normal map, and then you can let go. So straight away it gets replaced, and you'll notice that it pops up on the scene. Now inside the node we also have loads of different settings. So the one we're going to focus in on first is this one that says transform. This allows us to position, um, rotate and scale our node. And we can do this with finite values. And if we click and drag, um, you'll notice it does it really finite. So if you want to be a bit more thorough, let's just put that back to one. If you want to be a bit more thorough, you can actually click on the node and drag it to where you want. And you'll notice that the position numbers on the right hand side as I move it are changing. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is obviously scale it. So if you look at this, this is our initial box. This is the box that we're going to use to kind of represent our main menu. So this is the background for our main menu. So we're going to want the, the background to fill the whole area. Now once again, we could scale it here, or you can just click on these handles. So let me just click on this handle here first. And then if I want to stretch it a little bit, I can click on this handle. And we just want it to fill the whole box. Now I'm going to go past the actual box layer, just so if there's any bleed, it doesn't kind of take over that. Now, before we can do anything, we just need to save this. So we go scene, 
and save scene and because we've already saved it it just updates it it takes that little star away now we can test to see what this looks like so if you press this little play button here the play scene it will load it and there you go we have our first part of our game so get your images in download those images or you can use your own and then i'll see you in the next one